So it's a pretty momentous occasion in that Apple have finally relaxed their guidelines to allow emulators on their App Store. And it's an app called Delta that's currently the talk of the town. So here are the top seven tips for the app, including how to get DS games up and running on it, and also how to customize controller skins. So tip one relates to folder management, in that I highly recommend that you create folders for each of the six systems that Delta supports. Then we can pop all of our ROMs into the respective folders, which then makes it super easy when we hit the plus to add our ROMs to the Delta game library. Tip two is how to customize game art. As when we add our ROMs, you may find like I have that many are missing artwork. To do this, simply press down on the game you want artwork for, click change artwork, Select Games Database, just type the name of the game, which in this case is Donkey Kong Country 2. Select the artwork that you want and voila. Tip three is the fact that it also does support Game Boy games too. And when you add Game Boy ROMs, these are under Game Boy Color. And this of course is due to the fact that the actual Game Boy Color had backwards compatibility with the OG Game Boy. Handheld I never actually own as a kid for some reason and I'm kind of ashamed to admit that. So it's ace to go back and revisit these absolute classic games. Tip 4 is a super easy mistake to make and that is thinking that there is a problem with the Delta app if you hear no audio. I've seen this brought up a lot online, but of course it's just a case of making sure your iPhone is not on silent. So when we toggle that, then we can now hear all the audio perfectly. Tip 5 relates to saving and loading. In that games automatically save when you hit the menu, then go back to the main menu, which is neat. Then when we go back into the game, we can choose either to resume where we left off or restart. We can also create our own save points too by hitting save state and load using the load state. Tip 6 is that when we load a DS game for the first time, you get this error message saying that we are missing required DS files. To solve this, either dump your BIOS files from your DS or a simple Google search for DS BIOS files will enable you to download a RAW file which is 276 kilobytes in size. Now click on this file, press the bottom left up arrow, then click copy to unzip. So make sure you have this app installed. Click on the folder which extracts it. Click the three dots on the BIOS NDS7.ROM file and click upload to iCloud. Same again on the BIOS NDS9.ROM to iCloud Drive. And finally the firmware.bin file to iCloud Drive. Now click on a DS game in Delta, click on import files. In the DS BIOS file section, click on BIOS 7 bin. Then in locations, click iCloud Drive. Locate the unzip folder in iCloud Drive. And here our BIOS 7.rom file should be 16 kilobytes. Click on BIOS 9.bin file. File we need should be 4 kilobytes. And click firmware.bin. And our file should be a whopping 262 kilobytes. So select this. Our three files should now be ticked. Hooray! So when we now load up our DS game, it will now be fully working. Yes! And finally for tip seven is to customize controller layout skins. So let's head in Safari to skinfordelta.com, link in the description, scroll down to the one that you like, click on it and press download. Go to a downloads folder and press move. Go to where our ROMs for Delta are now stored, which in my case is iCloud. Click new folder. I'm gonna call mine skins. And we can now move this file and save future skins here. So to change a skin, just simply click on the settings cog in the top left, and it's in this area under controller skins we need. I'm gonna select Super Nintendo. For me, it's landscape. Click plus on the top right. Locate our new skins folder we just created. Select our skin to add, and there we go. This is now our default. So when we go into our game, we now have our new skin. I'll give you a bonus tip, which is to press menu, press hold button, Press Y, then go back into our game, and now we will automatically run in games like Mario and Donkey Kong to make our lives much easier. I'd love to hear how you're finding the Delta app, so do let us know your tips and tricks in the comments below. And hey, if you've learned something from this vid, then be sure to like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and as a thank you for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote.
One thing I've realized is that everything always ends up working out. Sometimes even better than you can imagine. When I look back at the toughest times in my life, they've often resulted in the very best things in the end. So stay encouraged today, guys. And if you love playing retro games, then you'll definitely want to consider getting the Steam Deck OLED that I reviewed here. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.